Hi, I'm Robert from Magnanimous Media, and today we'll be looking at the Ronin and the Ronin M from DJI. The Ronins are three axis brushless gimbal stabilizers that stabilize motion on the tilt, roll, and pan axes. The Ronin is designed to give the camera operator the freedom of handheld operating without the shake and jitteriness that would normally accompany traditional handheld operating. The Ronin can support camera systems up to 16 pounds, while the Ronin M can support up to 8 pounds. The systems are computer controlled and have precision of control of plus or minus 0 0.02 degrees. As with Steadicam style stabilizers, the Ronin must first be balanced before it can be used. Achieving a proper balance is extremely important as an improperly balanced system will put strain on the motors and lead to decreased life expectancy. The battery life expectancy is 4 hours with the Ronin and 6 hours with the Ronin M. However, this can vary based on the camera's weight and how well the Ronin is balanced. Before attaching your camera to the Ronin, it is important that all of the accessories you will need are attached as each item will change the weight of the system. This includes batteries, media, lens without the lens cap, and any wireless follow focus peripherals. Attach the dovetail plate to the bottom of your camera using the included hex wrench and camera mounting screw. Make sure to position the dovetail plate so that it is in the middle of your camera system's center of gravity. It is also important to have the included lens support brace attached whenever possible, especially when using DSLRs. DSLRs tend to have some flex between the lens mount and lens, and the lens support eliminates the flex by adding stability. Next, you will unfold the Ronin balancing stand. The top of the stand is detachable and can be mounted to any stand with a baby pin, allowing for more room to work. Place the handles onto the stand and reorient the hand grips to a position that is most comfortable for you. At this point, attach the gimbal assembly to the latch on the handlebars. This is done by loosening the thumb screw and holding down the release button. Once it is in position, make sure that you retighten the latch. The next step is to attach the battery. Loosen the thumb screws on the top of the battery and slide it into the battery compartment on the back of the gimbal. Make sure the battery locks into place and retighten the screws. Now we will begin the process of balancing the Ronin. The first step is to get a rough front and back balance. Unlock the dovetail latch and attach your camera to the Ronin and move the camera forward or backward until you feel it is neither front heavy or back heavy. Remember, this is only a rough starting point, so it does not need to be perfect. Lock the dovetail latch and we will begin balancing the vertical tilt axis. To test the balance, rotate the camera 90 degrees back and let it go. If it falls forward, it is too bottom heavy. If it falls backward, it is too top heavy. Undo the latches that are connected to the two vertical posts and move the camera up or down. Continue this process until the camera no longer swings in any direction once you let it go. The next step is to balance the roll axis. Loosen the two thumb knobs on the front of the Ronin's camera mounting plate. Keep adjusting the setting until the camera does not roll to the left or to the right after letting it go. The last adjustment is the pan axis. The original Ronin has ratchet knobs that move back and forth on the pan arm to adjust the pan axis. The Ronin M, however, has a knob that moves left to right and with a latch knob on the top. The pan axis is balanced when neither side moves from a higher position to a lower position when raised. After making the physical adjustments on the Ronin, you can power the unit on by holding down the power button on the battery. The gimbal will reorient itself. Next, you will connect to the Ronin with the DJI Assistant app using either your phone or computer. If you choose to use your phone, enable Bluetooth and open the DJI Assistant app. It will scan and eventually connect to the Ronin. Once connected, select motor and then auto-tune stability. The Ronin will then determine optimal motor strength and other internal adjustments to adapt the weight and position of your camera. It is highly recommended to tap the auto-tune stability button anytime your camera setup changes as this will update the stability settings to compensate for the change in weight. 
To tune your Ronin using your PC or Mac computer, you will first need to download the Gimbal app from DJI's website. Next, connect a USB micro cable to the Ronin and then into your computer's USB port. Open the app and your computer should automatically recognize the Ronin. After connecting your Ronin to the DJI Assistant app, go to the Gimbal tab and select the Smooth Track setting. Inside, you will see the options to turn on or off pan, tilt, and roll smooth tracks. You can also adjust the settings for speed, deadband, and excel. Speed will determine how fast the camera will travel while translating a movement. Deadband will determine how much movement the gimbal will tolerate before translating the movement. And excel will increase speed based on how fast each axis is rotated by the operator. The Ronin has three major operating modes, underslung, upright, and briefcase. Underslung is the traditional way to hold it, where the Ronin is held out directly in front of the operator. This is useful for most tracking shots as well as low angle shots. Upright mode is where the Ronin is held upside down. This is useful for shots at eye level or higher or when mounting the Ronin to a car. Briefcase mode allows for you to slim down the Ronin's profile so you can fit into tighter spaces you may not normally be able to squeeze into. While using this mode, you are unable to use the controller and the roll axis is disabled. Briefcase mode is activated via the DJI Assistant app under the More menu. The Ronin is a solid piece of technology that allows for camera moves that would otherwise require costly dolly setups or experienced Steadicam operators. Gimbal technology is constantly improving and with the low cost and ease of use that the Ronin and Ronin M provide, they are an excellent choice for upping the production value of your next project. If you have any questions or would like to set up a personal consultation, feel free to contact us at rentals at magnanimous.biz.